this is Nicole with AccessoryEssie.com. This is a flip through in, of a journal that's going up on the Essie site today. It is made from a, a hardcover book with actually um, weathering heights, but I've added some elements to the cover. I've added some old masking tape and um, so I've grunged it up a little bit. It wasn't grungy enough for me. So I also added uh, postcard graphics to the front and the back and that's all been inked up and, and aged and then sealed to keep it nice and safe. And then there's a book plate on the front, metal book plate with a removable center so you can name it whatever you want but I thought journal was cute. On the inside we've got of course the linen binding that reinforces the spine though this one really didn't need it. This book was real well put together. We've got the manila folder, of course, with some shipping tags. A lot of the shipping tags in this book are made with, from book pa pages that I took apart a long time ago, but they were about 120 years old, I guess. And the paper is just like, it's thick and velvety and really nice. So whoever gets this, I hope you enjoy these the feel of these tags. I've been putting them in all my books, and when I run out, I'm going to be really sad. But... For now, it's just going to go on everything. I'll find something else later. Um, here's an illustration from Aesop's Fables with some more shipping tags, and these are just tea stained. And of course, everything's been tea stained except for a few pages, like the ledger pages. I didn't, I didn't tea stain, um, but most of them have all these neat, crackly-looking stains as they dry. It kind of recedes, and it kind of looks like a dry lake bed or something. It's pretty cool. There's also um, pages from a famous quotation book that was published back in the early 60s. And so there's some quotes from Browning and other quotes in here as well. So that one maybe somebody might like to, like to see that along with the ledger paper and the blank paper and the pattern paper. Little places to jot notes. It's got a few of these paper clips with the ribbon but there's lots and lots of places to um, write or sketch or use this as a guest book for a get together or several get, uh, guest books. You could use this for several special occasions. You could keep it for a year. This could be your year's worth of special occasions and make sure that you document everything. It could be a memory book for a whole year if you'd like. A couple of coin envelopes. Some more shipping tags and a place to some notebook paper here that's attached. And I left some of the places empty so you could add your own memorabilia. Figure you don't want me to muddy up everything, but it's hard for me not to. There's an envelope here, and in this side we've got a baby mini journal, several pages in it, so you could keep addresses or phone numbers or whatever you'd like in there. A little tuck spot there. It's a, an antique typewriter advertisement. I love those. A little pocket here with some shipping tags. Places to mount photos. This is cardstock, so it's nice and firm. Another tuck spot there. Some Dickinson quotations there. Rosetti and Smith, too. Oh, journaling card here that flips open this way. I promise, there it goes. Another shipping tag that I put some stamping on. Another tuck spot. Some tags. More quotations. A little tuck spot with a shipping tag. I love these. And this is the back. And there's the other manila folder with some more shipping tags because I love them so much. But anyway, this is the book. And, uh, I forget how many pages is, is in this one. 80 plus. I'll count it and put it in the listing. But I hope you guys enjoyed this journal. And I hope it finds a good home. I spend so much time on these. Um, that I'm, I'm happy when somebody else appreciates them too. I certainly don't do it for the money. <laughs> After you spend 10 hours on a journal, you really don't do it for the money, I guess, do you? 
Anyway, um, I hope everybody is having a great day. Keep journaling, everybody. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.